right, so as I'm editing this, I realized that somehow the beginning of this video got deleted. So we're just doing it right now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want, and today I want to make duct tape accessories for my dogs. Someone gave me this idea, I think, on Twitch a while ago, and it's time to make it happen. I've made duct tape accessories and clothes for myself. This time, my dogs get to get tortured. Ready? Let's begin. Now, what I possibly could make for my dogs with duct tape is collar, leash, maybe a bow tie to go over the existing collar he already has, maybe a bandana. You know how some dogs don't wear collars, they wear bandanas. And then lastly, if we feel like it, we can just try and make a toy. Who knows? I feel like the best thing to start with is, you know, the collar. I don't know how I'm gonna get the collar to stick to, you know, how they have to like clip, but we're gonna try and figure it out. We're just gonna try. Can I have your collar real quick? I need to see how big this needs to be. Thank you. Ooh, it's very warm. You're such a warm dog. Now, because I have a lot of black, we're gonna start with just black. Oop -de -doop -de. He stresses out over the sound of a collar. It's your collar. You don't need to stress out that much about it. How do I wanna do this? Um, um, we're just gonna fold it, maybe? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, oh, ooh, wait, this is pretty thick. You know what, but you could use a thick collar. You're a thick boy. He's a thick boy. Who's, I can still do it. Telling me to exercise. Let me just, one thing at a time. Okay, so when this is closed, it's this. I'm gonna make it a little looser because it's not gonna be very comfortable. Perfect. Then how do I get it to connect? Okay, here's what we're gonna try and do. I feel like maybe, hold on. I'm trying to like figure out what I wanna do here. I'm not very smart. I mean, I'm trying to just use duct tape. I could tape it to him, but like, I don't wanna tape something to my dog. And Cause what if I have to use scissors to get it off? You don't wanna use scissors to get something off your dog while they're wiggling and moving. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is do the same thing on their side and then cut a hole and try and like slide it through so that it, and then it, I don't know. I don't know what I really I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to do something. It's not gonna work. You know what? As long as it stays on for a photo, that's all we care about at the end of the day. And Blaze knows that. I think Snoop's a little too hyper for this. I need my photogenic dog. Blaze knows how to pose. Snoop does not. You all know I have no idea what I'm doing, correct? Like that just, I need a blanket statement out there for everyone to just a nod your head. You know I have no idea what I'm doing. Good. That's the same as sample super scene. So what I'm gonna do with this police grade knife I have here is cut a little slot. God, that's a good knife. I just sliced right through like, but oh, okay. Sliced right through. So in theory, when I connect it to him, I'm gonna pull all of those through the little slot so that it would get stuck. If, I mean, it's if you like tugged on it, it'd obviously come off. But we're just talking about for looks here. For a simple picture, might be a little over zealous here with how many I'm gonna get through. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Do we want it to just be black? Is that what we're ending up with here? Blaze. Blaze, what color suits you? What color's in your soul? This is gonna be used for the bandana. This is not your soul. Do you want sparkly? We can do sparkly black. Does that work for you? Okay, we're gonna do sparkly black. That works for him, works for me. My man's not afraid of a little sparkle. He's not scared of a sparkle. He is scared of vacuums though, so beware. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it went on crooked. Look at this, perfect. Oh goodness. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, oh, no, it started to bend at the end. Bada bing, bada boom. That is a cute collar, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, maybe there should be like a purple stripe down the center of it. How do you feel about that, Blaze? He says whatever I want to do. That was the worst way to do that because it's never a clean strip. You know what, it doesn't matter. It'll be a far away shot. Uh, he's gonna look a little rugged with a sparkly. The sparkly duct tape doesn't stick very well. Just in case you were wondering about the quality of my duct tape, I gotta tell you, it's really easy to tear apart the sparkly ones. There, there we go. That looks better. Now, we're gonna make everything and then we'll fashion it off. Fashion it off. I have a fashion show? Sure. Next will be the leash. So I use slip leads, such as this, the rope thing. It's the rope one. That's what I use. So I'm thinking just take a lot of this. Whoops. Oh no, it stuck to itself. Rip it off. Beast. I feel like I want to roll it horizontally. Come on. This is strange. This is a strange concept, but we're going with it. Sometimes you just get an idea. Doesn't mean it's correct. Doesn't mean you should follow through with it. But sometimes it's gonna bug you if you don't try. You know, don't. He's kicking. 
He's kicking my duct tape. He's like, no leash, let me run free. Apparently he has a weird accent. This is too long, I've made this too long. It's a mess, it keeps sticking to itself. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be pretty, it doesn't. It really doesn't. At this point, we're just wrapping it around itself. That, you know what, that kind of works. Hold on, because your, your leash needs to be sturdy. The thing you control your dog with, that needs to be a little sturdy. He's kicking me. Can you not kick me? Something's touching me. I have a diva dog. He's a giant diva. Sorry about it. I could braid it. I could make it pretty strong, right? Stop kicking me. There. There is the inside of my leash. Now, I'm gonna wrap it in the colors that I want. And now, it's gonna be even stronger. See, in this time, we didn't waste the strip that was in the collar. We used it for this part. Boom, bibidoo, bibla blah, blah, bloop. And if you're wondering how I'm gonna make this wrap around the dog, you have zero imagination. Look at this, this is a sturdy leash. See a stray dog, don't have a leash, but I got a thing of duct tape? You're set, you can make a leash. Tell me you don't have the right equipment. Couldn't save the dog. Didn't have the right equipment. False. You didn't have the right imagination. That's all I have to say about it. Lies. I have more to say. But not right now. Hmm. Alternating colors. Because I have an imagination. Also, this is light reflective because there's sparkles in it. So people will see them in the streets at night. I don't know why I'm saying things like that. I apologize for my uh, speech today. Definitely could have braided this. Didn't feel like it. The dogs are not gonna know what hit them. I'm getting so good at this. I'm going so fast. I'm like lightning. What's up? So I've made the entire leash part. Now you have to, of course, make a little handle for yourself to so you put your arm in. Like we're getting real. We're getting down to business here. We're not messing around uh, like some people I know. I don't know anybody. I don't know what I'm saying. Nice and tight, lots of tape. We got strong big boys. No messing around here. Mm. Look at that, look at that. Oh, uh, yes. Ha! That's not coming off the first time they tug, but maybe the second few. Okay, now what I use is called a slip lead, and it's connected to this part with a hoop that goes, slides up and down this part. I gotta go look at my leashes. Hold on. Okay, so this loops over and creates a little loop-de-loop. -loop. I can do this. You know what? You should brighten it up. Should also use yellow, because why not? Why not ruin the entire aesthetic of the whole thing in one second? Gotta make it strong. Gotta use a lot of extra, because we want this to be strong. No messing around here. You know what? Don't think that's strong enough. I mean, he's, he's just been kicking and stretching this whole time. Perfect. <sighs> now I need to make a ring. Uh, we're gonna make that one out of this. Don't ask me why, because I won't be able to give you a reason. Uh -huh. Now this has to be extra strong, because this is the circle that holds literally everything together. I don't like the way I'm doing this. Thank you for kicking everything off the couch, Blaze. Now what we need to do, loop this, and then into this, connect those things, and then you have yourself a slip lead. We have to tape the green together. I'm an engineer! And by that, I mean I am copying someone else's plan. <laughs> don't get this wet. We finish. Now, I'm not gonna put this on my dog yet, because I don't want him to hate me. So I'm going to literally put it on myself. It's a short leash. This is shorter than my normal ones. This goes around the neck, and then as they pull away, you, know, you make it tight, and as they pull, it gets stuck on them. Always put it here on the dog, at the end of the chin, high up on the dip. That's where you put it right there on the dog. Yes, I realize I've put myself in a leash made of duct tape. Kinky. So that's the leash. Again, we will fashion show everything afterwards. I would 0% recommend this as an everyday leash. It's probably not comfortable for the dog. Also, I mean, I guess if you own a Yorkie, it's not gonna break through this. But I know if I was to walk Blaze outside and he saw a squirrel or a cat running in front of him, this would this would break in a second. <laughs> okay, so we have a collar and a leash. Now, bow tie. I wanted to make a little bow tie for the collar. It's gonna be fuck out. So I think we should make that out of the silver. Real quick, little bow tie. You know what, I'm fine with just duct taping that one straight to the collar because I can take the collar off to cut the bow tie off. How does a bow tie look? Thick and then it goes to thin, right? How do we bow tie? You are breathing very heavily, sir. Bow ties are easy. Boom, bow tie! That was very easy. That was the easiest one so far of all the duct taping I've ever done. Bum, bum, bow tie. And then you just literally tape it to the collar and you have a very fancy dog. Next.
the bandana, which it's just a square that you tie around them, but that would be too thick. Oh, and I'm trying to use this bacon one that some, I'm not gonna, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Have I ever? That's not gonna be straight. Nailed it. That was actually really good. That was a good fold over. My dogs never wear bandanas. They're very much collar boys. Blaze has had a bow tie before. Blaze, you're breathing so heavily. Are you okay? How does a bandana look? Hold on. Dog bandana. Oh, just make that go to a point and then tie it around his neck. Great, I can do that. Logic is going out the window at this point. How wide does it need to be? One more wide and we'll cut it. We'll cut it to the one we want. This just looks like a giant piece of pizza. <laughs> How do I make it less like a pizza pizza? Pizza pizza. It's gonna be thicker? How do you do this? Why does it look so bad? It's gonna fold this in half. I was gonna tape it. That doesn't look like, why does my bandana look so bad? I feel like they're whiter. Where'd my, ooh, where'd my duct tape go? <gasps> it's missing. Please. Oh my God, I'm literally missing the duct tape. What the? Oh my God, the duct tape disappeared. I'm not, where is it? I've got, what? What? It's not on me. What happened? I have no idea where it went. So, am I tripping? <gasps> oh my God, it rolled all the way to the other side of the room. <sighs> all right, I am dramatic. You know what? This bandana is gonna be ugly, but what bandana isn't? I don't know how to tie it to the dog. Oh no. Oh, the bacon one comes off easy as well. Not just the glitter. There we go. See, now we tie it together and then we're gonna make that longer so we can tie it in a knot on the dog. Everyone, hee hi, hee hi, ho, happy. Listen, the reason I didn't make it a square and then fold it into a bandana is because duct tape is way too thick. That would've been very hard to do. So we had to makeshift it to make it look like it's a bandana, but we all know that this looks absolutely nothing like a bandana. So that's just laughable at this point. Boom, see, and then we'll tie it, loop de doop de doo and it'll be um, somewhat of a bandana. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the toy. I've decided that would be too much. We have the collar, the leash, the bandana, and the bow tie, and it's dark out right now, so I think in the morning, I will have the boys try these on in the backyard, give you a sense of it, let you see how beautiful these are. You know, it's pretty cold. We might just do it in the living room where the natural light is. Backyard's really cold. We'll see. Till the morning. 14 hours later and he's in the exact same spot doing the exact same thing. Can you try on these duct tape accessories for me? Your brother's too hyper. You seem really hyper too. Lies. Got him. Okay, stop that. Give me one second. Oh my God. My invention worked. Come here. Come here, show it off. Come here. Oh. Look at that collar. Look at it, it's stuck and it, it was, you could, oh, you look so handsome. Okay, now, can I put this around you? You gonna let me do that? Go, come here, wait. Oh, good boy. <gasps> look at that. Walk with me. <gasps> oh my God, I can't believe this works. Wait. Good boy. <laughs> I can't believe this works. You're such a good boy. All right, now for the bow tie, just gonna literally tape it straight to, this does not look good anymore. Abort mission. Wait, that doesn't look, from far away, from far away it might look good. Whoa. Oh, look at this big boy. Look at this big boy. Oh, you're such a good monster. That looks so good, Blaze. You look so handsome. All right, let's see if he figures out how to be photogenic. Let me tie this around you. Ah, ah, ah. Chill. Don't, don't sniff things. Stop moving. Come here. Yeah, good, good, good. Good waiting. You got this. Oh, that's some good waiting. Good boy. Good boy. Don't shake it off. No shaking it off. Sit. Good. Wait, wait. Ooh. 
Look at this bandana. Oh yeah. Look and fly. Look and fly with your bacon. That is the ugliest bandana I have ever seen, but you're the cutest dog. All right, all done. Thank you. I'll take it off now. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed it. I had fun making these things. My dogs love me, even though that I put, I torture them sometimes. Don't actually torture them, but you know, it's all, it's for my fun. For entertainment. They love me. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Please like this video if you liked it. Make sure you're checking out my vlog channel. You can also check out my Twitch streaming channel, which is Miss R Baller, and my podcast channel, which is All Things Internet. I do podcasts every Monday with my mom. Check it all out. Uh, links are below or at the end screen, or I just said the things and you can just type them in yourself. Sometimes I'm too lazy. I'm sorry. That's it. And remember, above all else, stay awesome possums.